A chain is a series of connected links, usually made of metal. Chains are made for various purposes and therefore come in different shapes and styles. For example, some chains are designed for lifting, as in the case of a hoist, or pulling the load, or for security against theft, such as when securing a bicycle. Such chains have links that are torus-shaped. As the chains have de are designed for transferring power in machines, conveyor belts, bicycles, and motorcycles. Such chains, known as roller chains, have links that mesh with the teeth of appropriately designed sprockets. Chain links are joined together to form a flexible connector for various purposes such as holding, pulling, hoisting, hauling, conveying and transmitting power. The simplest and oldest types of chain is the coil chain, which is made from straight metal bars that are bent to an oval shape, loop together and welded shut. These bars were traditionally made of wrought iron, but chains made of steel have gained favor in recent years. This type of chain was traditionally used in slings, cranes, and power shovels, but it has partly been replaced by cable or wire rope. On some hoists, coil chains run on a special pulley with recesses in which the chain fits. A, vari a variant of the coil chain is a stud link chain. Each of whose links has a bar or stud across its inside widths. These studs add weight, keep the chain from falling or kinking, and help prevent deformation. Stud link chains are preferred for use as anchor and cable chains on ships. We may never know the true inventor of industrial chain if there was indeed a single person responsible. To us, the history of industrial chain is a story of international collaboration and continuous improvement, and we must continue to innovate as an industry, raising the standards in quality, safety, and reliability for the benefit of all. In recent years, chains are getting popularity as furniture and decor making item. Hello, hello, reviewers. Welcome back to our channel. Today we have brought to you chain furniture and decor ideas. This video contains a collection of simple welding projects you can make from chains. You can pick your favorite design and try to make it at home or show it to a local workshop so that they can make one for you. You can even turn these plants or designs into a lucrative small-scale manufacturing business with a small initial investment on basic tools and materials. So we advise you to watch the video until the end to never miss a thing and choose an inspiring design for your next project. If you are new to the channel and if you like what you see, please consider subscribing to the channel and smash the notification bell so that you'll be the first one to be notified when we upload new videos. If you are already a subscribed member, please like and share this video so that it could reach a wide range of audience. Chain drives are widely used for the transmission of power where shafts are separated at distances greater than that for two for which gears are practical. In such cases, the sprockets take the place of gears but being widely separated drive one another by means of chain passing over the sprocket teeth. The sprocket is a wheel with teeth shaped to mesh with the chain. 
The word meaning chain can be traced back to an ancient word in the Indo-European language family. As early as 225 BC, chain was used to draw a bucket of water from a well. This very early bucket chain was composed of connected metal rings. In the 16th century, Leonardo da Vinci made sketches of what appears to be the first steel chain. These chains were probably designed to transmit pulling, not wrapping, power because they consist only of plates and pins and have metal fittings. However, Da Vinci's sketch doesn't show, does show a roller bearing. It took some time for the technology to catch up with the concept. Problems in the manufacturing and processing of steel prevented chain grows until the 19th century when new technologies made steel chain and bearing realities. In the 1800s, a Frenchman named Gould obtained a patent for a similar chain for use on a bicycle. This chain, called Gould chain, is still used today in hanging applications. When molded chain was invented in the 19th century, things began to move rather quickly. First came the cast detachable chain, which is composed of identical cast links. Next, the pin pull chain, which has a separate pin, appeared. The cast detachable chain and the pin pull chain have been improved over the years and they are still in use today in some special applications. They are being replaced gradually by large pitch steel conveyor chains. In the late 1800s, a new development, the bushing, revolutionized the steel chain. Chains with bushings had greater wear resistance than a gold chain because the bushing acted as a bearing, protecting the pin. At this point, the chain story moves into super speed. Steel bushing chain was used on bicycles, in the rear drive of early automobiles, and in 1903 at the, the propeller drive in the Wright Brothers airplane. Chains can, only be, can also be used for decorative purposes. They are currently being extensively used in the making of different types of furniture and deco items. The common types of furniture which use chains include suspended furniture or sling type furniture, whereby one part of the item is suspended from a strong frame, a wall, or a ceiling. Whether we realize it or not, Chains play a very important part in our lives. Indeed, chains have throughout history helped to hold the very fabric of our changing civilization together. The manner in which we use chains is also something that we seem to have completely overlooked. There are chains in parks, gardens, sheep, dog lash lashes and doors, but these are only about 1% of the total usage. Chainsaws, lifting chain linked lewis, chain drives, curb chain, door chain, key chain, lavatory chain, leg iron chains or fetters, chain link fences, anchor chains, and even as musical percussion instruments. Chains have made their way into our cultural world in several ways. Several methods are available to connect chain ends to each other or to other objects and to apply a load to a chain away from the ends. These methods are usually specific to the type of chain and must be of 
current of the correct size. As you can see in the video, there are different applications of chains. Specifically, bicycle chains and motorbike chains are used in these decorative items, in these furniture creations. As you can see in the video, we have compiled a number of interesting furniture and decor item ideas which can inspire you. We would love to hear from you if you tell us which one is your favorite and why. You can give us your comments, suggestions in the comment section. By now you know that our channel is full of inspiring videos which you can use in your projects from time to time. If you like our content, please consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already and also smash the notification bell so that you'll be the first one to be notified when you upload new videos. Our YouTube analytics shows that more than 90% of our viewers are not subscribed members. Your subscription means a lot to us and encourages us to create more content. Therefore, please, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thank you for watching until the end. We look forward to seeing you in our next video. Until then, stay safe and stabilized.